a recipe to share. Here's Taryn and Leslie with more. All right, thank you, John. Yes, Leslie is here with a recipe for a crustless apple pie. This looks really good, and I understand this is a family recipe. Yes, it is. This is the family cookbook that we've had mm. for, I think, since the 80s. I know yeah. early 80s. This is actually the house that I grew up in. Oh, really? This on here? Yes. Oh, isn't that neat? I, I don't know for sure who drew the picture, but that's the house that I grew up in. Wow, okay. And, and so that was grandma's and great-grandma's before, so... This is so neat. And so this is a recipe that I'm sure is very loved and been used a lot. It is. I, this cookbook, I have to kind of be careful because pages <laughs> fall out. You can see it's been quite used. <laughs> That's great. You know it's good then, right? Yes, absolutely. Now, what can be easier than pie, right? Mm -hmm. They say easy as pie. I don't think so. I think pies are a pain. <laughs> They're not easy, but this one is simple. You dump everything in a bowl, you throw it in a pie plate, and you bake it for an hour. We what like that. What can be easier than that? Okay. <laughs> I've got three cups of apples in here. I'm going to dump in one slightly mixed egg. And what and kind of apples do you use? It depends on how tart you like them, but you want something that's going to stay firm while it's being baked. Okay, these are red delicious. These are red okay. delicious, but you can go with a Braeburn, uh, and you can go with a Granny Smith. There's all kinds of different things that you can use for those. But it, it's more a matter of taste. Okay, so sugar so, and flour. There's sugar and flour and a half a cup of nuts. You can use pecans or walnuts. I prefer walnuts with apples, but that's just taste. Mm -hmm. And I know some people don't like the crust. Some do. And so this is a good option if you just want the it, good stuff, if you just want is. the apples. You can mix this up. And then you start with your spices. Okay, so you mix all so, that, then you add your spices? And then we, yeah, just get this so that the egg is kind of incorporated and get the flour all worked up here. Okay. And then you start with, what all do we have here? We've got... Uh, Cinnamon. Okay. We've Nutmeg. got Nutmeg. We've got some soda that we'll put in, a teaspoon of soda, a half here. a teaspoon of salt. Here's the salt. Okay. Okay. And we've got cinnamon and nutmeg. Right here. And so you just mix all that together and put it in here, and then how long do you bake it for? We put it in 350 degree oven for one hour. All you do is just dump it in the plate and bake it, and... Mm. Doesn't this look good? How can that, I mean, Applejack was last weekend in Nebraska City. Mm -hmm. I thought something, something with apples. Mm -hmm. You butter the pie plate before you dump it in. Mm -hmm. Even a little bit of butter makes it better. Very good, Leslie. So. This is great. And we already have this recipe on our Facebook page under mm -hmm. Pure Nebraska. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Mm, John, we have some here for you.